So over here <coughs> in the file list, I can click uh, the edit button and it will open this uh, file in uh, whatever program I set in the preferences to edit files with, which is uh, the sample editor. Uh, in my case it is set to audition. So if you haven't done so yet, uh, it's a good idea to do so now. Uh, anyway, here we go, click on edit and once I do you will see here that uh, uh, text will appear that uh, the file is offline so I can no longer uh, use it inside Ableton for as long as I'm editing the file. So click edit there comes audition. Okay, there we go. So I find this a much better way of working with the file. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna uh, add markers <coughs> or let audition add markers for me uh, with the auto mark uh, option. So find beach and mark. There we go. And it has done that for me. I don't need this one. It had added a bit more than needed. So now I can just split these into two. So copy to new. Go back to the other file. Do the same for the second half. There we go. Copy to new. So now I have my two WAV files. And I can just close this one. I don't want to save it. So now that I have two WAV files, I can do some cleaning up, do some trimming, stuff like that. Oh, there's some more markers here that I don't need. There we go. Might be one at the beginning here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so this is the loud one. zoom in and just delete that. So now I need to save these WAV files somewhere that I can access them from within Ableton. So let's do that now. Okay, done. I'm done here. So can close audition. Go back to Ableton. Now find these files. Oh no, first things first. So, when I created the MIDI track from uh, the WAV file, let's see that again real quick. Uh, what Ableton did was create a simpler for me. And I'm going to do that manually now, but instead of creating a, a simpler, I'm going to use a sampler. So, just drag an empty one over there. So, there's nothing here now. And now I'm going to look for my two WAV files. And there they are. I can just grab both of them. If I select the right key on my keyboard. And I can just drag and drop them. Oopsie daisy. And there we have two of two samples are now selected. If I open the zone, I can see both of them. As you can see, they're now nicely trimmed, just the way I want them. Uh, and well, that's what I was after. Next, I'm gonna select the key range for both samples, which is a uh, by default. Uh, it's the C3 on the the keyboard, on the piano keyboard. So that's what I'm going to do as well. Next, velocity. Very important because that's what it's all about and that's why I needed two WAV files. So the silent one, I only want to play that one up until well, somewhere around here, which is uh, 96, and this one, I'm gonna start at 80, and now I'm gonna.
crossfade those so when I play the hi-hat at the velocity of 80 it's gonna play, play both of them but this one really silent this one louder and as uh, the velocity goes up it will play less of the first wave file and more of the second so if I now hit C3 on my uh, MIDI controller I'm gonna crank up the volume just a little bit because it's a foot pedal hi-hat they're a bit hard to hear there it is ok, turn this down again so, next I need to change the global filtering I'm gonna crank up the volume to about minus 3 should do the trick set the velocity to about 20 or 30 something the uh, beat can sustain, don't need to change, very important the loop should be set to trigger and that goes for uh, every drum piece that you uh, create should be set to trigger uh, no re-triggering, voices should be well, 2 or 4 should do ok, now the decay I'm gonna set this to about 1 second and if I click here on DK or on attack, it switches to some extra, uh, extra parameters that I can set. So I'm going to set the slope to uh, 100, and I'm going to set this to 0. OK. Uh, let's see if we can hear the samples more. Hey, there it is. <coughs> Gonna quickly rename that. I'm gonna name it Demo because I already have one with that name. So, now this is a sampler and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transform this into a simpler because I'm gonna create a new drum rack and drum rack is gonna contain a chain of simpler instruments so make a simpler, there we go uh, basically this is the same as a sampler except that you don't have all those parameters that you have uh, and you can just switch back, back and forth uh, you don't have all these glo uh, global filters, the envelopes and, and such are a bit different and uh, especially the, the, the MIDI stuff uh, you don't have that in the simpler but once you have set these and you're finished with, uh, with the sampler make it into a simpler and now I can just drag and drop or save if you want into instruments simpler I have it here drums hi hat as you can see I already have a few of them just drag and drop it in here it asks me for a name just hit enter and it's now saving the file I can now just drag and drop this into a new track there we go I now have my own simpler instrument of the hi hat So, next step is a drum rack. I'm gonna create an empty one. There we go. That's my drum rack. It's empty. So, go back to my simpler. Oh, where is it now? Ah, there we go. Just drag this into whichever slot I want, or just drag it here and drop it here. I think it's the E key, isn't it? There we go. So now I have. Woohoo! My very own hi hat. 